Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another coffee time with Brandy. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys not just one, but two, that's right, two recipes in this coffee time. I'm going to be showing you how to do a s'mores latte and a s'mores frappuccino. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you is the s'mores latte. So what you're going to need is some brewed coffee. I'm going to be using my Nespresso. And then you need some chocolate syrup, it doesn't matter which brand. And you're also going to need some marshmallow fluff, also again, doesn't matter what brand. Some graham crackers, which you know the drill, doesn't matter which brand. And some mini marshmallows. And you're also going to need some milk or creamer of your choice. So first, let's go ahead and crush up our graham cracker. And then we're going to take our glass that we are brewing our coffee in, and we're going to take our marshmallow fluff. And what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and smother it and rim the glass with it. Once your glass has been rimmed with the marshmallow fluff, you're then going to take it and you're going to roll it in the graham cracker crumbs. Make sure to coat it really well. So then next we're going to go ahead and take our marshmallow cream. And I did about a tablespoon of marshmallow cream in mine. But if you want it to be super marshmallowy and that taste to be super dominant, I would go ahead and do two. But I also really don't like my coffee sweet at all, so I didn't use very much. And then we're just going to take our chocolate syrup. I use about half a tablespoon of the dark chocolate syrup. But again, if you wanted it to be more chocolatey, you can do a full tablespoon. go ahead and brew our coffee right on top of it and the heat should help make that all melt and combine together your coffee is done brewing you're gonna go ahead and just take a spoon and stir it all up making sure that the marshmallow fluff and chocolate melt completely and then once everything's melted you're gonna add in your cream or milk of choice uh, this is also optional if you don't like creamy like coffee or anything, you can admit that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and top it with some whipped cream. Some crushed up graham crackers. Some mini marshmallows. And some more of the chocolate syrup. And that's it. That's the recipe for a hot s'mores latte. Now let's go ahead and move on to the s'mores frappuccino. What you're going to need is some cold brew or some strongly brewed coffee, some milk of choice, marshmallow cream, 
and then you're going to need some chocolate syrup, graham crackers, and some whipped cream. You're also going to need some pudding. First you're going to go ahead and add in your brewed coffee or cold brew, of, add in some milk, then you're going to dump in some ice, and then about a tablespoon of the pudding. The point of the pudding is, is that it acts as like a, an agent to help it blend smoothly together. And then you're gonna go ahead and add in a tablespoon of your marshmallow fluff. I actually tried this with two tablespoons and I did find it to be much better and much more marshmallowy. So if you want that super strong marshmallow taste, I do recommend putting in two tablespoons instead of just the one. And go ahead and blend it all up. Go ahead and put your whipped cream in the bottom of the glass and this is old footage from the first time that I made the frappuccino so it is going to be a little different so the, uh, here you can see I used melted chocolate instead of the chocolate syrup that I bought but the chocolate syrup was way easier yeah somehow I lost all of my footage from the second time I made it so I had to use the footage from the first time and then you're gonna go ahead and pour your blended drink in. And again, this is from the first time I did it, which I didn't use the pudding the first time I did it. So it came out kind of chunky and not quite as smooth, but if you add that pudding, it comes out way more smooth and blended together. And then you're just gonna go ahead and top it with more whipped cream. You're going to top it with some more chocolate sauce and some graham cracker topping. And then that's it. That is our s'mores frappuccino. If you guys like these recipes, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And leave a comment down below what you want to see next.